Time dilation is a storytelling staple. If you get going really fast, everything else around you seems really slow. While these examples are fictional, time dilation is a real thing backed up with hard science. It's just not as exaggerated as you see here. Take astronauts, for example. Over the course of their missions, crew on the International Space Station age fractions of a second less than people here on Earth. It works in part because their spacecraft is moving really fast, 17,500 miles per hour. Special relativity holds that the faster you go, the slower time relative to your position appears to progress. If you could get a spaceship moving close to the speed of light, the effect would be even more noticeable. The simple version is if, you're, if you have twins and you put one in a spaceship and it travels really fast and then um, comes you know, back to Earth, it will not have aged as much as its twin. It's even featured in the uh, 1960s Planet of the Apes where they're traveling so fast in space that they don't go through time, but thousands of years have passed. And that's why they don't realize that they've landed back on Earth when they land on the planet. But getting the required speed is still beyond science's capabilities. Mass increases with speed. Accelerating to relativistic speeds would require exponential amounts of energy. The other way to dilate time requires gravity, and lots of it. The stronger your gravitational source is, the closer you can get to it or the bigger it is, the slower external time progresses. We can see evidence of this with the clocks on GPS satellites. They are farther from Earth's mass than ground-based clocks, so they need adjustment. And so it means that the timing is not quite what it would be if you just didn't account for general relativity. And so we have to correct for that. And it's only, you know, of the order of tens of microseconds that can put you off in position by quite a bit. To make this phenomenon really apparent, your best bet is a black hole. In Interstellar, they get into the idea that you have a black hole, and the black hole is so massive that it's affecting space and bending it so much, but it's bending time too. Near the black hole, Joe Cooper and company perceive their progression through time at a normal rate. But back on Earth, away from the black hole's gravity, decades have passed. But once again, this idea is theoretical. For one, there are no black holes in range of our spaceships for us to test. One of the nearest we know about is more than 7,000 light years away. And two, as far as we know, the closer matter gets to a black hole's event horizon, the faster it moves and the hotter it gets. It would be hard to appreciate the time dilation while your spaceship is getting reduced to its component atoms. Maybe this is one idea we're better off testing at a small scale. Go climb a mountain. You'll age just a tiny bit faster at the top. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.